Let me just read some of these things that happened under the last, in the last four years. Do you know what one of the fastest growing online businesses is in our, in our nation? The fastest, one of the fastest growing online businesses in America. Child sexual exploitation. Did, did, did you catch that? I'm going to put a number on the screen as well. This is how many visits one free porn site, the largest received in 2019. Porn sites receive more traffic than Netflix, Twitter, and, and Amazon combined. Sex education, I've seen it, that they're teaching in our schools is more perverted than anything we've ever seen in our nation's history. The sexual perversion that they want to launch into your children and pass laws where they can change your sex without telling you. And you don't think the judgment hand of God is not due? Give me four more years and we'll be good. What happened the last four years? Why is this okay? Do you know what killed more people worldwide? The number one cause of death in the whole world last year. Anybody know? Abortion. 43 million Worldwide, fill the Rose Bowl up 40, 430 times. Number one cause of death in America is the slaughtering of our own children. And you're going to lecture me about four more years? Now, let me tell you, I was, God's dealing with my heart. I wanted four years of Pompeo and Pence and Ben Carson Tony Perkins, I know, at the Family Research Council, the guys on the president's advisory team, godly people are in positions of office, the lady who was over the, the schools for the, the nation, very godly Christian woman. I, I wanted that, I desired that, but I begin to realize something's wrong here. They're thinking doctors are proposing now to ban, uh, ban gender terms on birth certificates at the hospital. So I begin to just really realize what are we doing this is this is growing okay okay four more years of an administration that will protect the church great what about if it, what about if four years of a difficulty brings the church to the altar think about it nobody comes to the altar prayer meetings worship mornings the church is dead i didn't come here to win a popularity contest i came here to speak the truth we need to wake up. That's what this is. This is a rude awakening that's happening in our nation, isn't it? A rude awakening precedes a great awakening. In order for God to get your heart, he's got to break it. I wrote this in an article you might have. The church as a whole has become comfortable. All-night prayer meetings have been exchanged for all-night Netflix binges. Powerful worship services where the Spirit of God is moving have been turned into 60-minute programs designed to entertain we are measuring success by likes and followers rather than Christ-likeness and following him. Any guess how many of these are in Christian homes? Could it be by the grace of God that we don't have four more years of pride and arrogance in our hearts? I know this is going to tick people off. I don't care. I'm not reading emails anymore. 